Did you know that over 200 zero, zero, zero pensioners in the UK are set to receive back payments averaging PS 5,000 500 due to a significant error in state pension calculations. That's a staggering amount of money, and for many people, this news is life-changing. Could you or someone close to you be entitled to this money? What if this error has impacted your family, and most importantly, how could such a massive oversight happen in the first place? Stick around as we unravel the details of this HMRC pension correction explaining who is affected, why it happened, how the government plans to fix it, and what steps you can take if you suspect you've been underpaid. This isn't just about money. It's about fairness, justice, and getting what you've worked so hard for. The UK state pension system is designed to provide financial stability to people who have spent decades working and contributing to society. But now, a glaring error has come to light, affecting a specific group of pensioners who reach state pension age before April 2016. These individuals receive the basic state pension, which operates differently from the new state pension introduced after that date. The problem is that thousands of these pensioners have been paid less than they were entitled to due to calculation mistakes made by the Department for Work and Pensions, or DWP. So who is affected? While the issue is broad, there are three key groups of people who are most likely to have been underpaid. The first group includes married women who should have received a higher pension based on their husband's national insurance contributions. In some cases, their payments were not automatically increased when their spouse retired. Traditionally, a married woman might receive a pension worth 60% of her husband's basic state pension if her own national insurance record didn't qualify her for a larger amount. However, for many, this adjustment wasn't made. The result? Years of underpayments. The second group includes widows and widowers. When a spouse passes away, the surviving partner's pension is supposed to be adjusted to include any additional entitlement based on the deceased partner's contributions. Sadly, this adjustment often didn't happen. For some people, it has meant years of living with less financial support than they were entitled to at a time when they needed it most. The third group is individuals over the age of 80 who qualify for a specific top-up to their pension but didn't receive it. This top-up is a non-contributory payment for those who meet certain criteria and it was also frequently overlooked. The scale of the issue is staggering. More than P7.3 billion in underpayments has already been identified, with the average amount owed to affected individuals sitting at around PS5500. Some people, however, are owed much more, with certain cases involving back payments of tens of thousands of pounds. These are not small errors. They are life-changing amounts of money for much money more. Imagine struggling to cover your daily expenses, only to discover that the government owes you enough money to dramatically improve your quality of life. But how did this happen? The reasons are complex but boil down to a combination of outdated systems, human error, and a lack of proactive checks within government departments. The state pension is calculated using a complicated set of rules, especially for those under the basic state pension system. This complexity leads room for mistakes. At the time when many of these errors were made, systems were less automated and relied heavily on manual processes. <laughs> Overlooked adjustments and missed entitlement reviews compounded the problem. For years, these mistakes went unnoticed because there weren't sufficient mechanisms in place to catch them. Now, the Department for Work and Pensions is working to fix the problem. But it's not a simple task. Reviewing hundreds of thousands of pension records takes time and the process is still ongoing. The government has said that back payments will be issued automatically to those who are affected. This means you don't need to apply or fill out any forms. The money will be calculated and sent directly to you if you are eligible. So, how do you know if you're affected? 
the government has already begun sending letters to those whose pensions have been reviewed and found to be underpaid. If you are in one of the affected groups, married women, widows, or people over 80, you may receive a letter outlining the correction and the amount of money owed to you. These letters are crucial, so make sure you check your mail carefully. However, if you think you might be eligible but haven't received a letter, don't wait passively, take action. One of the first steps you can take is to review your pension statements and national insurance contributions. If you are unsure about what you should be receiving, you can use the government's state pension calculator, which is available online. This tool allows you to estimate your entitlement based on your contributions and other factors. If something doesn't add up, contact the pension service directly to ask about your case. Be prepared to provide any relevant information, such as your national insurance number and details of your spouse's or late spouse's contributions, if applicable. While the correction process is underway, it's worth noting that not everyone will receive their payments immediately. The DWP has prioritized certain cases, such as individuals over 80 and widows, to ensure the most vulnerable people are helped first. However, for others, the wait could be longer. Officials have stated that they aim to complete most reviews by the end of 2024. But it's a massive undertaking and delays are possible. This situation has also sparked broader discussions about the fairness and transparency of the pension system. Many experts and advocacy groups argued that the complexity of the system is part of the problem. With so many rules, exceptions and calculations involved, it's easy for errors to slip through the cracks. Simplifying the system and introducing more regular audits could help prevent such mistakes in the future. After all, pensions are a critical part of financial security for retirees, and any errors in their calculation can have serious consequences. For those who are worried about their financial situation, there are resources available to help. Organizations like Age UK and Citizens Advice provide free guidance for pensioners dealing with issues like underpayments, whether you need help understanding your entitlements or navigating the process of contacting the DWP. These organizations can provide valuable support. Imagine the relief of receiving a correction payment after years of financial hardship. For many people, this money will make a significant difference in their lives. It could help pay off debts, cover medical expenses, or simply provide a bit of breathing room in their budget. For some, it might even mean the chance to take a long overdue holiday or treat themselves to something special. At the same time, this situation serves as a reminder to all of us about the importance of staying informed about our finances. Whether you're approaching retirement, already retired, or helping a loved one navigate their pension, Keeping track of what you're entitled to is crucial. By being proactive and staying vigilant, you can ensure that you receive the benefits you've worked so hard for. This correction is a step in the right direction, but it's also a wake-up call for the government and for pensioners alike. The state pension system is a vital part of our social safety net, and it must be managed with the utmost care and transparency. Mistakes like these undermine trust in the system and highlight the need for reform. Just one correction and we'll see you in the next one. Let us know in the comments. If you found this information useful, Please share it with others who might benefit and don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more updates on financial news and helpful tips. Thanks for watching and we'll see you the next one.